This is Eric from Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware uh, on your legacy 12-step 1, now we're going to call it. Um, this is going to be the Mac OS version of the demo. There will be a Windows version as well. Um, so I've downloaded the disk image from our downloads page. Um, this is 12-step editor Mac uh, version 3.0.1 that we just released uh, last week of uh, February, March uh, 2024. And uh, so I'm just going to install this and it opens up a, a window here and you'll see um, there is a readme for uh, people who want to save their previous uh, presets. Um, those are stored in the old application bundle. We now put them in the system application um, directory. Anyways, if you want to learn more about that, you can read that readme. We're going to skip that part though and I'm just going to take the editor um, and I'm going to drag it over to Applications, and then um, I'm going to close that, and I'll eject the disk image. Um, now you'll notice in the Applications folder, um, there's now a 12-step editor folder that contains the editor itself. Um, there's a change log here that you can read if you want to see what's changed. Um, and then uh, there's that PDF that we were looking at earlier. We've also got a, uh, if you want to run the editor in debug mode, it gives you some debug messages. You can run that from this shell script here from the terminal. <clears throat> we also have a content folder that has uh, the new manual. Um, there's some firmware sysx files, so if you wanted to do some of this process manually, there's a readme that explains all the different firmware images, uh, some of the commands for advanced users. You don't need to worry about any of that. Um, we've also got some, some DAW scripts and the legacy presets from the old editor here. I'm going to go ahead and open the editor. And you'll see it's uh, here in all of its glory. You can verify what version of the editor you have. Uh, and you can see it's for, uh, version 3.0.1. And the firmware that this editor installs is version 1.0.2. That's the latest as of March 5th, 2025. And I've got MIDI Monitor open here. This is a free application. You can Google MIDI Monitor. Um, and I'm just going to use that to um, verify a few things. And then I also have Audio MIDI set up. Um, if you don't know how to get that, um, you can just uh, command space gets spotlight. And you can type audio, audio MIDI setup. Um, sometimes the audio devices are open here, so you want to get the the MIDI Studio. We've got some videos on how to use uh, audio, audio MIDI setup, but I'm just going to drop that right here for now. And then, uh, so you can see I've got a camera here, and this is one of our old school um, gray face 12 steps. Uh, when they first were released, it was uh, this color scheme. And uh, I've got a cable here uh, that I know is a good cable. I've used this with other things. Um, and because I have a newer MacBook that uses USB-C, I've got this little Amazon dongle. I'm not using a hub, uh, I'm not using any other intermediary, it's just going to go straight into the USB-C port from here. Um, I've also got every other um, MIDI device I have that might be plugged in, I've, I've disconnected it, um, I've closed all other software that might be uh, accessing MIDI devices. Um, it's very important when you update firmware that you don't have anything else that might interfere with the update is really what I'm getting at here. So um, I'm going to plug this cable um, into the laptop side and then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to connect this with the USB-B port and you'll see version 28 came up. That's the firmware that's running on this device. Um, but if you look over here, we don't see the device listed. Um, and that's because this device has got a problem with USB. And you can see that when I mess with the cable here. And the only reason I demonstrate this right now is before you do a firmware update, you really need to make sure that you've got a solid, uh, reliable connection between the device and um, the, the, the computer. So this 12-step, it's actually from one of our return files, um, and it just it needs to be repaired. Um, and reach out to support. That's a, a, if you're out of warranty, we can support you with a, a, rep a repair fee. 
Um, but so before you update, make sure to test the device and really make sure that you've got a solid connection. Um, so I'm gonna swap this now for one of our newer um, black devices here. I'm gonna plug that in. You'll see that version 28 comes up. And there's the device listed. <clears throat> so you can see in MIDI monitor, we've got two ports. Um, we've got some, uh, the old school uh, message here that was being received from the 12-step the device that we're gonna fix with this firmware update. Um, and then you'll notice the editor says that the firmware is out of date um, and it's recommending we do an update. Now before I do that, um, I'm gonna clear MIDI monitor and I'm just gonna make sure again by pressing these keys that I've got a real solid connection between the device and the Mac. And I can see that there's MIDI over here. Again, I'm just being super cautious. Most people upgrading their hardware won't need to do any of this. They can just plug right into the editor but if you really just want to make sure that you're safe, um, this is how we know that we're ready for a firmware update. And so now uh, over in the editor, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And we're installing the bootloader. If you look over at the hardware, the screen's gone black. We want to wait because it is sending a firmware image and you can see in MIDI monitor it sent that. And now we've got firmware 99. So that's the installer for the bootloader. It's doing that. And now the bootloader's installed. We're flashing, that means that it's in bootloader mode. And you can see in MIDI monitor, we, we sent another 80 kilobyte message, this time with the correct KSUMO SysX ID. Apologies to damage control for an older version of firmware using their ID. So now, um, the firmware update was successful. Um, we're updated to uh, the new version 1.0.2. We've uh, installed the bootloader, which is new. Um, that means that this 12-step now has the latest and greatest KMI USB MIDI driver um, and all of the, the memory protection that we would want in a device to, to keep it from breaking. So um, that, uh, that's done and was successful. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Um, this time I've got another old school gray face, um, and this one is not broken. So if I plug this in and I get firmware 28, there's the dri uh, driver, you see in a MIDI studio, the editor, um, so the firmware was out of date, here we are. Um, so I'm just going to clear the MIDI monitor so that we can see what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be the exact same process. I'm just going to click OK. And we're going to wait. Screen goes dark. You can see in MIDI monitor we sent an 80 kilobyte image. Just waiting, being patient. There we go. 99 means that the uh, bootloader installer is running. Now we're blinking, that means the bootloader's been installed. We're in bootloader mode. The editor sees the device and it's gonna send one more update. It's loading the presets and there you go. Now, to really prove that you don't have to worry about any of this, I'm gonna close MIDI monitor, I'm gonna close all the other windows I'm going to take one more, and we're just going to take it, plug it in. Takes a second to boot. It detects the device. We're going to click OK, sit back, do nothing. We're just going to be patient. See the bootloader is installing. There's the bootloader. Now it's installing the firmware. It's 
it's loading the presets, and now it's connected. Firmware was successfully updated. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us either on Facebook or through our support website. And again, my name is Eric. Thank you so much for your time.